So guys, today back for another video on the channel today, we're here and we're going to be reviewing my Match Week 2 and looking into Match Week 3 in the FPL series. I want to say now, I've looked into my league and I've got nearly 400 people in my league. I do appreciate anyone who's joined, you can still join, it. the code will be in the description, FJXX25. So we're going to be looking at my week and looking at players who really helped my squad and I made a couple of good decisions but a couple of bad ones so if you look at the top I got 46 points and if you remember episode 2 I was gonna put Pookie in for King he would have got 17 points and if he took the 6 away 11 would have got that a lot more higher but you know what it's alright it could be a lot worse Edison the Drew to Spurs 2-2 uh, can't do much oh come on I can't believe Liverpool continued that rubbish goal against Southampton but that happens in football. Same as Alexander Arnold, he must have got a yellow card, yep. Uh, Walker, did he get a yellow card as well? I got four, Matt Gould conceded. Digney was a good one for me. Uh, he got an assist, got a clean sheet, two bonus points, and he played all the game. But, as you can see there, he's got a knock, so that isn't good. And I didn't make any changes from the last episode, I said to you, let me know your uh, thoughts on transfers and stuff, but I've got a little idea what I'm going to do. So, Mo Salah only got us three points. Uh, what was the reason for that? I haven't looked at any of this. Oh, he got a clean sheet. It's better than nothing. Fraser just played. Uh, Grealish got one bonus and got an assist. So that's good. Joel Linton had a shocker for my club, Newcastle. And he is fit for Spurs, but we'll just get into that in a second. Uh, Bournemouth in Joshua King. He scored a penalty, and my best decision, I put Aubameyang as my captain, and he scored. If he didn't get that minus one point for a yellow card, I could have got a lot more points. So if you look on the bench as well, not really that much exciting points. So going into transfers, right, I'm think since, as you can see there, two transfers, still got two, and I'm thinking about changing Joe Linton, but Josh King maybe as well. If you look at Bournemouth's fixtures, I've got some very hard games in the next three games. Man City at home. They've got to travel to Leicester and then they've got to play Everton. Very hard games in my opinion so I'm thinking about changing Joel Linton and then King and then probably max him in because he's not getting us any points and he will throw out further in the season but at the start he's not so we're going to look who we can get. Obviously the main one is Thibaut Pukki. He's been up in price actually so I kind of get him. Oh god. Uh, if we go to my cost price, which is six six and a half million, yep. Origi, he's got some decent points already. Hernandez, King, Billy Sharp. To be fair, there's not that many exciting players there. To be honest, there really isn't. Do I just keep Josh King in? I had an idea, but I don't know if it will work. People, I was thinking about maybe putting like a really Cheap lad in, so where uh, 4.5 million. Uh, who will play a bit? These values are so weird. Like, the, the lowest value I can find, and I put him in, and then that saved me some money, and then I can get someone better in, or I could do it the other way. So, we'll restore King for now. I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Ryan Fraser out. I don't, as I've got a feeling it won't be his season. So, we're gonna put someone in who's really, really cheap. We're gonna go to around 5.5 million. Uh, if we go to the final list, uh, is that Ryan Cessna? It must be. Uh, is it going through teams? Yeah, it is. I want to. I don't know. We need to look for someone who's cheap. Kiate for Crystal Palace is an alright shout, I guess. Uh, Fred, uh, I want someone who's quite cheap. Um, cheap. Uh, 4.5, who can we get? To be fair, he got two assists, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He got two assists first in my club, Newcastle United. So if we put him in, that means we've saved a lot of money and then we can get a better striker for Joe Linton or King. So if we look, I'm thinking about putting Isaac Hayden in for Newcastle. Yeah, we know what we're going to do with that. Add player. Isaac Hayden's been put in. So now we've got nearly 3 million and if we take Joe Linton out, uh, select replacement... And if we look, we've got 8.9 million, so if we just put it to 9, right, who can we get? We could put Rashford in, it's a good shout. 
That is a good show, actually. Manchester United run of games. Who they got? Crystal Palace, Southampton, Leicester, West Ham. I haven't got any of the big boys. Then Arsenal. Then Newcastle. Oh god, <laughs> that's quite hard, actually. That's quite. That's not a bad run, and it's pretty obvious that Marcus Rashford will be playing games for New. Uh, about to say Newcastle. No, uh, Manchester United. He's already got 19 points. I think that's the change I might go make. Uh, add player. So that means we've still got some money in the bank. And if we, wait, we've done a lad ready. Confirm transfers. Bang. That is it. That's been done. So now if we go to uh, pick team, right? Who we're we gonna change? So do you just no? You don't. You. I'm gonna swap then Donga with Hayden because obviously we play Spurs at their stadium. Lucas Dean is a. Uh, not, but I'm not going to risk it because Max Evans or one of my uh, Newcastle players will just go in. A captain. Ooh. This is going to be quite hard. Who can be captain? Because I'm, I'm not putting it as a Bamyang since he's away from home. I think it's got to be Mo Salah. I think it's got to be Mo Salah, yeah. So we're safe for team. That's going to be my team. Yeah, that, that that's going to be the team. So... Some changes, some big changes. We've put Isaac Hayden in for Ryan Fraser, and we've got big Marcus Rashford in. Marcus Rashford got 13 points against Chelsea and then 6 points against Wolves. He got an assist against Wolves, didn't he? And they've got a good run of games. I'm sure Marcus Rashford will be starting most games for Manchester United, so that's the risk I've made. Let me know your thoughts on my uh, different uh, changes there. Let me know if it's right, if it's wrong, because I was like, I'll change it now. I'm not risking losing points. That's my team going into the next week. Now, if we go into my league, uh, obviously I'm in the big Robinson, and me and Josh are doing it in a mini league, and we're just versus each other. I'm beating Josh by two points, so let's see what we can do there. So if we go back to my team, we'll go back to my league. Who's top? Has it changed? I can't remember who's top last time. Big Al is at the top. Uh, if you see your name in the top ten, right, we're not going to scroll any more down. Uh, Ashley is a fat. I'm not going to say it. Uh, yeah, some funny names there. Pookie Pies. <laughs> if we scroll, but where am I? Wait, I've, I've just seen myself. Go back. Where am I? 76. It's all right. Anyone can have a good week, and it's hopefully going to be mine. These, pl these managers obviously must be coming in because they've joined too late, but that's going to be the end of episode three of the FPL series. Make sure to join my league, make sure to do all that stuff. Follow my Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff in the description. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.